everyone! I am uh, filming today on my iPad because my phone is a piece of poo right now. It's the sound, the mic something's wrong with the microphone and the, the sound quality is terrible so my videos just aren't sounding very good. So we'll see how this goes on the iPad. But anyway, um, I have a little special something that I can't wait to show you all. But first, um, really quickly, I thought I would tell you about my favorite book of the year so far, which is No One Can Pronounce My Name by Rakesh Satyal. I finished this today and I was in a coffee shop and I was like, I don't know, I wonder what the people next to me were thinking because I was like reading it and just like this huge smile on my face and then my tears started watering because I got, I mean, it got teary. I mean, it just really, really affected me, um, this, this novel. But I don't... Uh, I, I want to like gather my thoughts and maybe talk really in in more about this um, in a wrap up, which I always say I'm going to do, but I never end up doing. But um, I really, really like to talk more about this because I think everyone should read this book. Everyone. It's so good. But let me see if I can do this. Basically, it just the main story are, um, are two. The main story takes place in um, Cleveland and there are two different people there they both come from India but um, they, they end up meeting towards the middle of the story um, but you learn all about their different lives um, the man lived with is like a 40 year old man who lives with his mom and um, there his sister passed away so so he ends up dressing I talked about this book I think a couple in a video ago um, he dresses up like her to, to kind of comfort his mom at night because his mom's kind of like a vegetable because she's not taking the, the the morning process. I mean, she's very deep in mourning um, and the grief has sort of just taken over her mental capabilities. Um, so, so he just lives this like really solitary life and he befriends a man that he works with named Teddy who's just a phenomenal character. Um, the, all the, the main two characters are, are wonderful but then the, the sub, the, the, all the other smaller characters in this book are just as fleshed out and delicious. I mean, the, the writing is just, I said delicious. Oh, I was talking about another book. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this book, you guys. It is so amazing. I unfortunately got this from my library, but I'm going to purchase a copy of this to keep on my shelves like forever. Up here, like all of my, I can't really see them, they're over there. All of my favorite books um, are up there, but I, I want this close to me so I can, I mean, this is just so amazing. The writing is spectacular. There's not a lot of heavy plot. There's not a lot that actually happens, but it doesn't matter. The characters, it, it's all about the characters and, and the way they interact. It's it's sort of about how, how their Eastern culture mixes with the Western culture because they're all, uh, the two main characters are immigrants. Um, the, the basic, you know, the biggest theme is friendship and how powerful friendship is, but you also get like desires. All the characters have a desire. Um, there's secrets, there's family, you know, it plays a big role. I mean, it's just, there's so much to this novel and it's just beautifully written. Um, not to mention there's a wonderful um, queer aspect about the story. That's, oh, it's so good. I, I just, it brought, me, it brought me so much joy that I want to read it again. I, oh gosh, it's so good, everyone. Um, the author wrote another, he has one other novel called Blue Boy which won the 2010 Lambda Literary Award for Gay Debut Fiction in 2010. Did I say that? <laughs> and, um, yeah, this, this man's amazing. And he may or may not be just following me on Twitter. I had a little, I was in the middle, I was, I, a little story for you. I was in the middle of teaching today. Um, I had posted on Twitter uh, how much I love this book. And then, of course, I tagged the author. Um, so I was teaching a lesson and I looked down at my phone and I, like, flipped out in the middle of my students. Like, what's wrong with you? Uh, but... The author wrote a really nice thing to me and he started following me on Twitter and I like had a little fangirl moment. Oh, so amazing. It's so good. It's so good. I'm gonna um I'm gonna tweet I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna um link down below the author does a song from Hamilton and rewrites the words, um kind of promoting this book when it came out back in May. And it's a it's a great video, so I'll post that down below. And also a link to his website because um he's a amazing author. Gosh. Um I'm definitely going to check out, I'm going to find Blue Boy and get that so I can read the, that one. Um, but anyway, read this book, y'all. It's really amazing. But anyway, so here's the deal, guys. I received another package. 
This is the front. It has my address on there, but this is... Okay, you, you, you see my last unboxing. You know basically what it's going to be because it's from the same person. Different company. Different publishing company. But same writer, and I thought I would open this on camera because I'm so excited. Oh, guys, this good book day y'all what is in here oh okay so yeah i've seen people um i've seen people's posts about this book because everyone's getting their their copies so there's little treats inside oh my god so cute are these okay first of all let's show you the book oh my god i'm so excited right now oh gosh okay so here's the book oh my god this is it Jen Campbell's new collection of short stories, The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night. These are the proof copies, and I got the night version. This is the night proof. They have the day proof as well, and I'll post a picture of what the day proof looks like. Um, but here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. This is published by Two Roads in the UK, and this comes out... When does this come out? She wrote me a little thing in here. Um, I will post. I can't see the title, the date it comes out. Oh, it comes out in November in the UK, of course. When does it come out in? Yeah, November second. There we go. It comes out in November second as a hardback, and I, of course, will have to buy it. Um, isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, Jen! I can't wait to read this. Oh, I have to read the first story tonight before I go to bed. So there are some goodies in here. Let's see. So we got these little things. Little decorations. Are they candy? They can't be candy. Are they candy? No. Candy from England? What else is in here? Oh my gosh, I've got little. I don't know what this is. Oh. Oh, it tells you what's in here. Oh my gosh, Jen. What did you do? Oh, there's tea. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. There's a magic bean. Oh, and it says, but what if Jack took those magic beans and planted them in himself instead? I played Jack in Into the Woods when I was a kid. <laughs> and then I played the baker at college. Anyway, there's a little card. Buy four hearts, get the fifth one free. There was a time when jealous queens ate the hearts of their daughters. Oh my gosh, Jen Campbell. You're killing me. You're killing me. This is amazing. Oh, what is this? It's, oh, it's tea. Oh, this is so cool. There's a little tea bag. Oh, Dancing Lovers, the tea is called. Green tea, jasmine, peony, chrysanthemum from China. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And it, what are these things? I'm gonna figure this out. This is gonna be a long video, sorry. Silver Smarties. Oh, they are candy for the brightest stars. Oh my gosh. So let me just read you from this pub sheet so you, you can get a little idea of what this is about and you can buy it in November. Everyone needs to buy it and support Jen. Okay. Um, as a queer woman with a deformity, Jen is particularly interested in representation and giving, uh, and giving voice to those who aren't often heard. The beginning of the world in the middle of the night explores this. In her story, Bright White Hearts, the main character has ectrodactyly, a split hand malformation, which is something Jen has, and reflects on the history of the freak show. The narrator in Little Deaths is in a wheelchair, and many of the stories have LGBTQ plus characters. Each story in this collection is unique and told with a huge amount of imagination. In Jen's own words, history has not been kind to those who are different, and certainly in current political climates, things don't look fab either. This new book is a collection of stories that uses fairy tales and stories of old alongside something that the character is experiencing in the present. Mm. The characters try to find themselves or justify their actions by harking back to those stories. They're trying to give voice to their own identity when the world around them perhaps has shunned them from one reason or another. What more could you want, right? What more could you flippin' want? And a book of short stories written by the YouTube goddess herself. I'm so excited. And she wrote me a little 
a little note in here and she signed it for me. So thank you so much, Jen, again. You're fabulous and amazing. And I just loved, I'm looking up here because that's where I, I keep Franklin up um, on top of my desk so he can look out into the world and people can see him. This was amazing. I'm going to talk about this on my wrap up. <sighs> Blows my mind. This is Jen Campbell. Rakesh Satyal. There's some good books out there, everyone. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. We're going through some tough stuff here in America. Um, so there's nothing like good books to help us through that. And um, keep reading, y'all. And just, you know, listen to each other, y'all. Spread some kindness and peace. That's what we need. <sighs> we can get through this, y'all. We can get through this. We can do it. Okay, sending lots of love to everyone. Bye. These are little candies, by the way.